4 initially shipped in the US with common Phillips double zero screws down near the dock connector. My phone has them, and the chances are if you have an iPhone 4 at the time this is posted, your phone has Phillips double zero screws also. Unless, of course, you've taken your iPhone 4 into the Apple Store for repair recently, in which case you're likely to find something entirely different down there. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm talking about Apple's insidious plan to sabotage our iPhones. What's interesting is that in all the original iPhone 4 promo photos, the screws on either side of the dock connector aren't Phillips double zero screws. And in other countries, the phone never shipped with Phillips screws at all. They shipped with these five pointed flowery looking screws, the same shape as the ones in the mid 2009 MacBook Pro and the current MacBook Air. The technical name for them, by the way, is pentalobular, not flowery. It's been widely reported that people bringing their iPhone 4 into the Apple Store for repair have found their Phillips screws have been unceremoniously swapped with the Apple five-pointed screws in an effort to keep people out of their iPhones. You can probably guess how I feel about that, but before I talk about it, I'm going to vent for a moment about a related subject. It's nitpicky, and it's convoluted, but it's important, so here it goes. All over the internet, bloggers and commenters alike are referring to these special five-pointed screws as security torque screws, and it's making me crazy. These aren't torque security screws, nor are they standard torque screws. Torque security screws have a pin in the middle of the head, and as you can see, these don't have a pin. My primary complaint, though, and the one that spurred the creation of this video, is Apple's insistence on baby-proofing our phones without permission or explanation. The annoying fact is you're going to need an entirely different driver for these special Apple pentalobular screws, which doesn't sound like that big of a deal, except these drivers are really rare and expensive and usually require proof of Apple certification just to purchase them. Apple won't sell me the screwdriver I need to fix my own phone. And all of this for what? To keep people from modding their phones to make them different colors? Heaven forbid. Sure, I agree some people probably shouldn't be taking apart their iPhones, but isn't that our right to make that decision for ourselves? If we don't have to pass a standard intelligence test to cast a ballot in this country, I shouldn't have to be an Apple certified repair technician to take out a couple of screws in my iPhone. I appreciate the thoughtful and beautiful design of all of my Apple products, but as far as I'm concerned, once I've purchased it, it's mine to do with as I please. To that end, I'm very proud to tell you that iFixit's intrepid hardware acquisition team has discovered solutions to all of your unnecessarily complicated pentalobular screw issues, including a new product that I'm very excited about, our iPhone 4 Liberation Kit. The Liberation Kit includes a five-pointed Phillips driver to remove the tamper-resistant screws, a set of two replacement Phillips screws, just like the ones iPhone originally shipped with, and a Phillips driver. The five-pointed Phillips driver is a stopgap fix, the cheapest way we could find to remove the tamper-resistant screws. The only catch is that there's a chance it might render the tamper-resistant screws useless after they're removed, but that's the whole point, right? You can find the iPhone 4 Liberation Kit in the iPhone 4 section of our site. Apple also used similar but slightly larger screws in the mid-2009 MacBook Pro and current MacBook Air. We've got you covered for those as well, and you can find drivers for those computers in our tool store. We've made it our responsibility to provide you with all the tools you'll need for electronics repair, and I've got to say, we're only further excited by this challenge. That's all I've got for now, but I'll be sure to come back with updates as they're available. Of course, you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash ifixit, and if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel for all the latest teardowns and repair videos. I'm MJ with iFixit. Thanks for watching, and happy repairing.